The Syrian conflict has escalated out of control. Rebels want to overthrow what they call an evil dictator. The president wants an end to what he calls terrorism. Outside powers seem only to contribute money, weapons and troops. But no one has been able to find a political solution to end the conflict. Amid the murder and mayhem are millions of people who are suffering the prolonged effects of war. Dead bodies lay in the streets. Areas have no electricity, no water and no medical support. Mustafa lived in Homs. One day, troops were going door to door with knives. He was forced to watch his family massacred. Dead people are being dumped in the streets in bin liners as a form of intimidation. Each day, thousands of refugees spill across the borders. An estimated three million people could be refugees by the end of the year. The camps are overflowing. People are living wherever they can. They've lost their homes, their livelihoods, their dignity, their children, their lives, their limbs. This is Bilal. His brother was shot dead between the eyes by a sniper. He was shot in the arm and was lucky to escape with his son. Even the nurse had a terrifying experience. She was kidnapped, imprisoned and tortured. During her ordeal, her hands were burnt with gas flames. Time is running out for the people of Syria. Islamic Relief is working deep inside the Syrian war zone to make sure people get the best available help. This child was shot in the head. He's only three. The bullet fractured his skull, but Alhamdulillah, he's back on his way to recovery. We're trying to get people out of the camps so they can get their dignity back, providing housing and food vouchers so they can choose what they eat. Over one million Syrians have already been helped by Islamic Relief. 800,000 inside Syria. 90 field hospitals have given 1.8 million items of medicine and equipment. And inshallah, we will not stop. This conflict is literally tearing families apart, like this woman. One of her sons is missing, and what happened to the other son is almost impossible to comprehend. <laughs> Imagine finding your child with no arms, no legs, head chopped in half, just a torso dumped in a black bin liner. Left behind is an orphan child. He's never known his father because his mother was pregnant with him when the father was murdered. Like millions of Syrians, he needs our help. Please, give generously now. We have declared war on hunger.